subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Hi, welcome to the Prince Profiles of Science. We're here today with Bertie Ashley. Bertie is a molecular geneticist who works with patients of muscular dystrophy. Muscular dystrophy is a muscle disorder which in the lack of the protein dystrophin prevents muscles from carrying out everyday functions such as getting up, sitting down, going upstairs or combing your hair. Thank you so much for being with us, Bertie. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Can you tell us a little bit about your work uh, in about 60 seconds? Okay, so I'm a molecular geneticist. So as you rightly mentioned, I work with uh, muscular dystrophy and specifically something called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. So this is a disease that happens only in boys because it's found in the X chromosome, the gene for dystrophin. And unfortunately, sometimes a mutation can happen due to we don't know what. It can be one out of many different types of mutation that stops the dystrophin from being formed. And these kids then get Duchenne muscular dystrophy. My job is to find a, if not a cure, at least a way to stop the disease from getting worse so that's what we do okay and uh, what kind of question is your work hoping to answer what do you hope to achieve from it now uh, in an ideal situation we would like to cure the disease but the genetic disorders are not easy to cure so we would like to the best thing that will be we would like to do is to lengthen the life, uh, life of these boys, give them a better quality of life, and give them a longer lifespan. If you can, right now the lifespan is around 24, 25. At the best case scenario, we, if we'd like to get it to 35 or 36, that will be amazing for us. So that will be one question we would like, uh, like we really like to answer. And you do this treatment by genetic editing. Uh, yes, well, we couldn't call it editing. So this is something called exon skipping, E X O N S K I P P I N G, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a revolutionary. Uh, you can call it very, very cutting edge science. Only in 2009, 2010, this was actually discovered or invented. And since then, we are one of the very few in the world who have the capability to do it. So it's a way of us getting into the gene and making a small alteration so that any other future copies of the gene has the unmutated version or the new mutated version, which makes a much more better functional version of the same protein okay okay that makes sense uh, where do you think your field of work will be 10 years from now uh, now the thing is this is personalized genetic therapy and I strongly believe that we are going to be the next step in medicine because personalized ge uh, genetic therapy is something that uh, everywhere in the world right now people are looking forward to it and there are major companies that are looking into it. The only things that are uh, like you know are a small obstacle are ethical issues and legal issues which we are working on right now especially in India and if we get that sorted then in the future if we can bring the expense down ge personalized genetic therapy will be the best way to get uh, something about genetic disorders which by the way are a huge number of diseases so that's what we want to do in about 10 years hopefully all genetic disorders can be you know treated all right great thank you so much Bertie thank you that was Bertie Ashley a molecular geneticist working on personalized gene therapy this is Sandhya Ramesh from Bengaluru for the print